I'm Jennifer Angel. This is your rating layer for the week of May the 16th. Okay, so there's still a lot of placements in your solar 10th house, auditive business, uh, your career. So that should put a smile on your face. So let's say, uh, let's go through. The sun is there for this week. It's going to move out right at the end of the week. Venus is there as well. Um, so it's great for connections, great for mixing and mingling with people. Uh, and you know, great for deal setting as well, because let's not forget Venus is the ruler of relationships, connections, uh, love, and money. Okay, so um, all right. So the one thing really to keep in mind about this area of your life is Mercury is there as well. Mercury will come out of its retrograde transit at the end of this week. Hooray! Okay, but while it's doing that, while it while it's coming. Um, out of that transit it's going to go through what's called the storm period okay which traditionally is about a week either side in my mind i like to sort of focus on the two three days either side but you'll feel it kick in before then but that's really in my mind the most crucial uh, a time um, where i like to make sure that i back up my computer certainly it's in your business area you want to do that with Venus in this area, you want to focus on money, make sure that you've got everything, um, you, you know, positioned well, that <laughs> nothing can go wrong. Easier said than done, isn't it? Um, but just take a little more care about the money. Don't rush through anything to do with finances. You don't want to sort of leave a note off something, a zero off something. Um, and you know dealings with people don't let's not forget mercury is the planet of commerce and communication um so you know dealings with people it's not a great time to lock down sign and seal any uh, deals during this time during a mercury retrograde period at all really but you know once the planet goes retrograde it does sort of settle down okay so in this disruptive part, I, I would avoid making any major decisions. You know, use some, be like a, a politician. In fact, uh, the two signs that most that have been mostly presidents in the United States anyway um, are Leo and Aquarius. So you know, um, a, a Leo uh, president or politician really has the art of delaying or building in thinking time. So take a leaf out of out of their book. Now the other areas that are under um, strongly influenced this week for you is your area of friendship so the sun moves into this area it's very social events um, and the sun is going to be opposite the moon so full moon and opposite mars now mars has two sides like everything else can be assertive or aggressive it is retrograde so it does you know soften it off pull it back a little bit but still um, in your area of working together with people and relationships you want to be a uh, a little bit flexible, a compromise where you can, you know, don't go so far that you're uncomfortable. And, uh, you know, perhaps over the weekend is not a great time to have that heart-to-heart uh, -heart discussion you were going to have with your honey, okay? I'd leave that perhaps until mid-next week. <clears throat> All right, so thanks so much for watching. I hope that uh, things are starting to come together and uh, that was some useful information for you for this week. I'll see you next week. Bye for now.